Good day to everybody. I am Captain Abi Lopez Marchan. I would like to present to you my final defense entitled The Level of Compliance, Awareness of the Filipino Seafarers on the Amended Marple 7378, Annex 5, Prevention of Pollution by Garbage from Ships. Seafaring is a very popular occupation in the world. More than 100 maritime schools, about 60 maritime training centers, very lucrative career profession in the Philippines. Created comfortably quality of life of Filipino families with a difference. Before a seafarer joined a ship, he is subjected to a lot of compliance. Trainings and certifications, medical, physical and mental examination, fit to work before boarding in good health conditions. At the work site, he has to protect himself from harm, accident or any sickness or injuries together with the other people he works with. He has to live a well-maintained work environment and enjoy his job throughout the duration of his contract. Another concern is to make sure is that the marine environment also protected as part of his duties and responsibilities. All these are covered by the international rules and regulation, legal mandates and have to be complied with accordingly. One of the international laws strictly mandated and implemented is the Convention of Marine Pollution or MARFOL in short. 1973 as amended in 1978. Marple is divided into six annexes. Annex 1, Regulation for the pre Prevention of Pollution by Oil, uh, which came into force on 2nd of October 1983 and deals with the discharge of oil into the ocean environment. Annex 2 is about the Regulation for the Control of Pollution by Noxious Liquid Substance in Bulk. It divides substances into introduces detailed operational standards and measure. The discharge of pollutant is allowed only to reception facilities with certain concentration and condition. While Annex 3, uh, the prevention of pollution by harmful substance carried in sea in package form, it contains general requirements for the standard of packing, marking, labeling, documentation, Storage, quantity, subtraction, division, and notification for preventing pollution by harmful substances. The annex in line with the procedures detailed in the International Maritime Dangerous Good, which has been expanded to include marine pollutants. The amendments entered into force on 1st of January 1991. While Annex 4 came into force on 27 September 2003, it introduces requirements to control pollution of the sea by seaweeds from ships. Annex 5 is about the regulation for, uh, for the prevention of pollution by garbage from ships and came into force on 31st December 1988. It specifies the distance per land in which materials may be disposed of and subdivides different types of garbage and marine debris. The requirements are much stricter in a number of special areas, but perhaps the most prominent part of the annex is the complete ban of dumping plastic into the ocean. And last, the Annex 6 came into force on 19 of May 2005. It introduces requirements to re regulate the air pollution being entitled by ships, including the emission of ozone deflating substances, nitrogen oxide, sulfur oxides, volatile organic compounds, and shipboard incineration. This paper is focused on Annex 5 only. The revised Marple Annex 5 regulation for the prevention of pollution by garbagemanship means changes include the updating of definitions, the inclusion of a new requirement specifying that the discharge of garbage into the sea is prohibited, except as expressly provided otherwise, the discharge permitted in certain circumstances include food waste, cargo residues, and water use for washing deck, and external surfaces containing clearing agents or additives which are not harmful to, harmful to the marine environment. Expansion of the requirements for placards in garbage management plan to fix and floating platforms engaged in explore, exploration and exploitation of the seabed and the addition of discharge requirements covering animal carcasses. Marpool Annex Pipe has been amended multiple times changing different aspects of the original text 
MEPC on or the Marine Environmental Protection Committee 21963 came into force on 2nd of March 2012 to generally prohibit the discharge of any garbage into the ocean with the exception of food waste, cargo residues, wastewater, and animal carcasses. There are further provisions describing when and how to dispose of the acceptable waste. MEPC 22063 came into force on 2nd March 2012 to encourage the creation of a waste management plan on board vessel. For the record, the record marble was ratified by the Philippines in 2000. To date, no enabling laws was been passed to implement the convention. So from the table, <clears throat> from the table, uh, as you can see, the types of garbage, if it is possible to, to discharge in the special areas and within the special areas, as well as on offshore platforms more than 12 nautical miles from land, so if you can say food waste is communicated or ground can be discharged in special areas for about 3 nautical miles from the nearest land and the vessel must be en route. While on the special area, it can also be discharged but it must be 12 nautical miles from the nearest land and the vessel is en route as far as practicable. In offshore as well, uh, in offshore platform, more than 12 vertical miles from land and all ships with 500 meter or such platform is also a uh, food waste comminuted or ground also can be discharged. While food waste not comminuted or ground, it, it, it can be only discharged in the special areas in permitted but the vessel must be 12 vertical miles from the nearest land and en route as far as practicable but in this and not in, uh, within the special area in the offshore platform, the discharge of this port waste not terminated or ground is really prohibited. While in cargo residues not contained in wash water can be discharged in outside the special areas, but not within the special areas, the discharge is prohibited as well as in the offshore platform. The cargo residues uh, contained in wash water can be discharged on the outside as well as also in, uh, within the special area but not allowed in uh, offshore platform. The cleaning agents and additives contained in cargo hold wash water also can be discharged both in the uh, special areas and also in, uh, within the special areas. Uh, outside the special areas, but in offshore platform is not it is prohibited to discharge. While carcasses of animals carried on board as cargo in which died during the voyage, the discharge also permitted in uh, outside the special areas, but the vessel must uh, as far as practicable, and it is en route. But within the special areas, these carcasses. Has, has not been permitted, uh, including in the offshore platform. All other garbage, including plastic, synthetic ropes, fishing gear, plastic garbage bag, incinerator ashes, clinkers, cooking oil, floating damage, leaning and packing materials, paper rugs, glass, metal, bottles, crockery, and similar refuse, is not allowed both in the special areas. Uh, Outside special areas, also offshore platforms, they are all discharged for, uh, they are prohibited to discharge. While the mixed cargo, wind cargo is mixed with or contaminated by other substances prohibited from discharge or having different discharge requirements, the more stringent requirements shall apply. So, this mixed cargo can only be discharged on the reception facilities. The effectiveness of ships comply with the discharge requirement of marble defense largely upon the availability of, of adequate for reception facilities, especially within special areas. Means marble unexpired also obliges government to ensure the provision of adequate reception facilities at forts and terminals 
for the reception of garbage without causing undue delay to ships and according to the needs of the ship using DIN. So, para the paradigm, the research study, the profiles of the respondent uh, age, uh, position, designation, position and designation, uh, area of uh, educational attainment, area of responsibility, length of sea service, the 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 profile of the respondent uh, as presented there were a total of 244 respondent who participated in the survey and most of them were aged 20 to 25 years old 95 respondent or 38.93 percent of the total respondent 49 respondent of 20.08 percent were aged 26 to 30 years old 20 respondent or were aged 35 to 30 35 years old, 20 respondent or 8.2 percent were aged 36 to 40 years old, and the respondents of 7.79 percent were aged 41 to 5, 45 years old, 10 respondent or 4.10 were aged 46 to 50 years old, 17 respondent or 6.97 percent were aged 50 years old and above. In the remaining 5.70 percent of 14 respondent did not answer the age field. A position in designation among the 25 position designation most of the respondent were AB with uh, 54 respondent or 22.13% 22 of the total counts 19.67% or 40 respondent were OS 18.02% or 44 respondent were third officer and so on and so forth and the profile of respondents by area of responsibilities most of the respondent were from the uh, 210 respondent or 86.07 of total respondent followed by respondent who were assigned an engine with 25 respondent or 10.5 percent of the total respondent and respondent or 3.68 percent of the total amount count belong to the steward or catering department. The proper respondent by educational attendment among the 244 respondent, 99.18% or 242 respondent were college graduate, one respondent graduate high school, one respondent with master's degree, and 4.48 followed by passing depending on type of garbage uh, area among the 244. Okay. The the length the length of sea service among the 244 respondent, uh, most of them had the length of sea service of one to five years, with 107 respondent or 56.15 percent of the counts followed by a respondent who had 6 to 10 years in sea service with 47 respondent or 19.26% of the total counts then respondent who had 11 to 15 years in sea service with 22 respondent or 9.02% of the total respondent and the competing, uh, competency level assessment the knowledge of MARPOL revised from among the five areas evaluated in terms of uh, level of compliance respondent generally assist average to high level in terms of the areas the respondent scored the highest of legal mandates implementing guidelines followed by activity and implication in sanction and the least scored was responsible entities that means that the Filipino separators, separators comply with the legal mandates implementing guidelines effectivity and implement uh, and uh, sanction however the lowest area of responsibilities entity should be attended and may be enhanced to increase the level of compliance the types of garbage the respondent were on the agreement that their uh, perceived level of compliance in the type of garbage was average to high level among the nine areas 
of types of garbage the highest score were rated in the following areas food waste communicated or ground all other garbage including plastic synthetic ropes fishing gear plastic garbage bugs in incinerator ashes clinkers cooking oil plotting danish lining and packing materials the ground the other hand the lowest score was rated the lowest score was in on carcasses of animals carried on board as cargo in which died during the voyage this means that those items rated highest must be continuously complied in hands while the term of carcasses of animals carried on board as cargo in which died during the voyage must be looked into this means that there may be a need to more compliant in terms of the identified area the handling of garbage the correspondent agreed perceived level of compliance was agreed to high level among the five areas in garbage handling collection the separate container was rank one must uh, rank one so on the storage in disposal Uh, regardless of the area of responsibility, the level of compliance of the 240 correspondent in terms of storage and disposal were the same as the p-value 0.594 was greater than alpha 0.05. The two areas in storage and disposal showed no significant difference in the level of compliance. Garbage record book. In general, there was no significant difference in the level of compliance in the 240 correspondent in terms of garbage record book. As the p-value of 0.494 was greater than alpha 0.05, the four areas in garbage record book also showed no significant difference on the level of compliance of the 244 responding group by area of responsibilities. So compliance to the Marple Annex Fiber by competent Filipino shippers improved productivity cleaner ocean. The statement of the problem, the study aims to determine the level of compliance uh, for the Filipino shippers, revised marfil pollution and marfil annex 5 pollution and prevention of pollution by garbage from ship. Specifically, the study also answer to the following questions, age, position, uh, designation, years, area of responsibility, education attainment, and the length of sea service. What is the level of compliance of the three groups in four months along the six areas as follows? Knowledge of marble, and X5 revised type, types of garbage, dealing with garbage, garbage handling, storage and disposal, garbage record book. Are there significant difference in the level of compliance of the three groups of K in four months along the six identified areas? What is the implication of the study to the world shipping industry and the protection of the marine environment using a, a methodology using a descriptive qualitative and quantitative method of research the data were treated statistically through frequency count percentage distribution weighted mean one way of analysis of variance the crucial wallace test by ranks crucial wallace each test or one way ANOVA or rank is a non-parametric method for testing whether samples or genetic uh, from the same distribution. It is used for comparing two or more independent samples of equal or different sample sizes. Result Result from Table 1 uh, show the frequency and percentage distribution of respondent profile in terms of age. There were a total of 244 respondents who participated in the survey and most of them were aged 20 to 25 years old with 95 respondent or 38.93 percent of the total respondent 49 respondent of 20.08 percent were aged 26 to 30 years old 20 respondents or 8.20 percent were aged 31 to 35 years old 20 respondent or 8.20 percent were aged 36 to 40 years old and 10 respondent or 7.79 percent were aged 41 to 5 years old while on table 2, uh, frequency and percentage distribution responded profile by position designation, it uh, showed the frequency and percentage 
percentage distribution of respondent profile in terms of position, designation. Among the 25 position, most of the respondent were AB. 84 respondent or 22.13% uh, of the total counts, 19.67% or 48 respondent were OS. And as you can see, there's third officer, the second officer, the the second officer 21 and then the chief officer 10 chief engineer 9 or 3.69 percent responded were chief engineer 2.46 or 6 responded were masters 2.46 or 6 responded were dick cadet boy 5 percent or 5 responded were third engineer or 92 percent and so on and so forth while in table 3 the frequency and percentage distribution of respondent profiled by area of responsibility showed most of the respondents were from DEC with 210 respondent or 86.707 of the total respondent followed by respondent who were assigned in engine with 25 respondent or 10.5% of the total respondent, 9 respondent or 3.68 of the total count belong to the steward or catering department. In table 4, the frequency and this percentage distribution of respondent profiled by educational attainment. In terms of uh, educational attainment, the frequency percentage distribution is presented on this table. Among the 244 respondents, 99.18% or 242 respondents were college graduate. One respondent graduate high school and one respondent with master's degree. On table 5, uh, frequency and percentage distribution of respondent profile by length of sea service uh, showed uh, among the 244 respondents, most of them had a length of sea service of 1 to 5 years, with a 37, 137 respondent uh, or 56.15%. Uh, of the counts followed by respondent who had 6 to 10 years in C service with 47 respondent or 19.3 of the total counts then respondent who had 11 to 15 years in C service with 22 respondent or 9.02% of the total respondent and so on and so forth. While in table 6, the level of compliance of knowledge of MARFOL advised showed the perceived level of compliance of the, of the Filipino shippers on the amended MARPOL 737A in terms of the knowledge of their knowledge, uh, knowledge in MARPOL and its five revised there were five areas of knowledge that the 244 respondents were asked to assist their level of compliance the weighted average was 4.285 which means that the 244 respondents were on the agreement that their perceived level of compliance on the knowledge of MARPOL and its five revised was average to high level in terms of the areas, the means were calculated in rank from the highest mean to the lowest mean. Top ranks were the highest level of compliance, and bottom rank was the least. Rank one with the highest level perceived of compliance was on uh, legal mandates. 4.305 rank two was on implementing guidelines. 4.298 rank three was on effective effectivity. 4.287 rank four was Implication in sanction 4.270 in the list was responsible entities. While on table 7, types of garbage uh, it showed the perceived level of compliance of the Filipino shippers on the amended MARPOL 77A in the area of types of garbage. The weighted mean was 4.244, which means that the 244 respondents were in the agreement that. Their perceived level of compliance in the type of garbage was average to a high level among the nine areas in type of garbage uh, rank one or the area with the highest level of compliance when on food waste, community, or ground. So in table A, in terms of dealing with garbage, the perceived level of compliance was presented in Table 8. There were only two areas in dealing with garbage that the 244 respondents were asked to assist their level of compliance. In general, the perceived level of compliance in dealing with garbage was averaged to a high level as the weighted mean was 4.240%. 
between the two areas. The area with the higher level was reduction on generation of operational waste. Use reusable covering materials considered storage system, damage generating ports during loading or discharging, careful cal cargo handling in bulk 4.2880. The list was minimized, taking aboard bulk packaging of consumable terms, items, reusable repacking, other packaging as reusable plastic 4.2880. 193. In Table 9, level of compliance of garbage handling showed the perceived level of compliance of the, the 244 respondent on the amended Marple 7378 in terms of garbage handling. The weighted mean was 4.392, which implies that the respondent agreed perceived level of compliance was average to high level among the five areas in garbage handling. Connection separated container was rank 1 with main of 4.483 uh, followed by processing depending on type of garbage with means of 4.457 equipment according to regulation of IMO with means of 4.452 rank 4 was short term storage with mean of 4.310 the list was long term storage with 4.257 in table 10 uh, in terms of the perceived level of compliance of the 244 respondent on the amended Marple 7378, the perceived level was average to high level as showed in Table 10 was weighted mean of 4.4905. Uh, between the two areas, special area was rank 1 with a mean of 4.53 and less was sensitive areas with mean of 4.448. Table 11. Uh, table 11 showed the perceived level of compliance of the 44 respondent on the amended Marple 7378 in terms of garbage record book. The weighted mean was 4.456 which implies that the perceived level of compliance of the 244 respondent was very high. Among the 44 areas in garbage record book, record keeping of all activities was the area with the highest mean 4.572. Followed by garbage color code 4.566, then rank 3 was content 4.544, and the list was format recording of 4.502. Uh, so, on table 12 shows the test of significance difference in the label compliance of the Filipino shapers and the minute Marple 7378 in terms of knowledge of Marple Annex 5 revised group by area of responsibility cross cal Wallace was used because the distribution of data was not normal in one group steward gathering and a few samples in general there was no significant difference in the perceived level of compliance of the 244 respondent group so as you can see under knowledge of Marple Annex 5 uh, we retain the null hypothesis and the legal mandates, effectivity, implementing guidelines, responsible entities, implication in sanction, in sanction uh, we retain the null hypothesis. In table 13, and table 13 the, in terms of uh, types of garbage, the test of significant difference and the perceived level of compliance of the 244 respondent group by areas Responsibility was shown in Table 13. The overall test in types of garbage showed that there was no significant difference in the perceived level of compliance of the 244 respondent group by area of responsibility as the p-value of 2.93 was greater than alpha level of 0 0.05. Among the areas in types of garbage, there were two areas that had significant difference and these were carcasses of animals carried on board as cargo in which died during the voyage with p-value of 0 0.40 and mixed garbage with a p-value of 0 0.001 in other words the perceived level of compliance of 244 respondent group by area of responsibility differs significantly on the areas carcasses of animals carried on board as cargo which died during the voyage in mixed cargo so the carcasses of animals carried on board as cargo and was died during the voyage and also in all other garbage including plastic and so on and so forth. This will uh, reject the null hypothesis 
it in, uh, also needs to for their studies. So in table 14, uh, show the test of significant difference on the perceived level of compliance of the 244 respondent group by area of responsibility in terms of dealing with garbage in general there was no significant difference on the perceived level of compliance of the 244 respondent group by area of responsibility within a p value of greater than alpha of a greater value of p value of 0 0.180 greater than alpha of 0 0.05. The two areas in dealing with garbage also showed no significant difference on the level of compliance of the 244 respondent group by area of responsibility. So in table 15, uh, in terms of garbage sampling storage showed in table 15, there was no significant difference on the perceived level of compliance on the 244 respondent group by area of responsibility as the p-value 0.446 was greater than alpha of 0.5. All areas in garbage handling storage also showed up non-significant difference. And table 16, uh, it showed the test of significant uh, difference in the perceived level of compliance of 244 respondent group by area of responsibility in terms of storage and disposal. Regardless of the area of responsibility, okay, the level of compliance of the 244 respondent in terms of storage and disposal were the same as the p-value 0.594 was greater than alpha of 0.05. The two area in storage disposal also showed no significant difference in the level of compliance. In table 17, uh, in table 17, also, the garbage record book, the keeping record, all activities, format of recording, the contents, the garbage color code, we will retain denial of hypothesis. So, conclusion, the majority of the Filipino separators belong to the age bracket of 20 to 25 years of age, while the oldest belong to 50, 51 years old and above. There are more able-bodied seamen deployed in international vessel. There were more separators in the DIC department, most of the Filipino crew are college graduates. Most of them are with an average length of sea service that belong to 1 to 5 years only. This means that the average length of service for seafarers is currently 3 years. Only one of them had finished a master's degree. The informative was verified in confirming unstructured interview. The Filipino seafarers are generally fall in compliance with the 6 items under investigation as follows. Talid of marble and an expired device. Types of garbage, dealing with garbage, garbage handling, storage and disposal in garbage record book. All of the areas are fully complied as evaluated by the respondent seafarers. Implication of the study, the conduct of the study is covered that seafarers now spend shorter numbers of years in the profession. A lot of changes have been observed regarding deployment of seafarers such as too many training requirements, putting the cost of boarding to the seafarers, difficulty in complying government regulations, and this time of